So like Connor, I was asked to write a letter, but mine is addressed to the current chamber members. Dear current chamber members, as former choir president and recent graduate with a younger brother in the choir now, you would think that I could vividly recall every moment I spent in a choir at North Mesquite. But as I was surrounded by people that I had previously had the pleasure of singing with, and some that I hadn't ever really met before today, I was reminded of just how special my time here was. There were so many fond memories brought back just in the discussions that we had that made me realize how lucky I was to be here. I was asked to discuss my feelings and perspective regarding this group now that I'm an alumni and doing other things. Now let me preface everything by saying that I'm very happy at UNT and the music department is amazing. That being said though, I'm not sure I will ever be a part of an organization like Chamber again in my life. What I mean is that I don't think I will ever be a part of a group that is so close and loving that they are still coming back every five years for the chance to sing together again. There were a lot of times in high school where I felt like I didn't belong, like I didn't want to be there, or like I just couldn't keep doing everything I did. But somehow the people I was surrounded with in chamber made everything feel worth it. It's easy in a high school choir of any level to slough off and take for granted the experiences and opportunities you're given. But I encourage you guys to appreciate every moment, every extended rehearsal on a day when every other student got off, but you have to rehearse because Fork had to be at school, so you do too. <laughs> every mind-numbing rerun of a piece you can't stand to run one more time, every joke that makes you roll your eyes, every stop at the check stop bakery, every incredibly loud exclamation Forkner makes on a mic that he definitely doesn't need in his hand. <laughs> every warm hug that these two amazing directors give you, and every Garfield double feature. <laughs> Appreciate the good, bad and the ugly because time is fleeting and I wish I'd been more appreciative of my time at North. I think the end of the decade is a great time to reflect and appreciate the things you have in life. The individuals you sing with in this group can try you at times. They can be loud or rude or detached, but at the end of it all, I think of the people I shared my time with as something close to family. I told Mr. Forkner at the first concert I came to this year about how amazing college is and how much I'm loving the changes in everything but at the same time how much I miss everything here. The first time I watched Chamber sing this year, I genuinely started to tear up because I was reminded of how much I care about all of you and how proud I am when I look at how much you've grown from the first time we met. Spending the day singing with this incredibly talented group of people has rejuvenated my love for singing in a way that I haven't felt in a while. Now this letter was supposed to be kind of short, but as we rehearsed today, I was inspired to add a little more sentiment because <laughs> Forker, Middlebrooks, and all of the people I've been blessed enough to sing with have touched my heart in a way I don't think anyone else ever could. To conclude my sort of lengthy letter, I want, if nothing else, for you all to appreciate everything, because time really does fly past you. When I was at North, I wasn't known for being the most serious of guys, but I seriously do love all of you and every person I've had the honor of singing with. Former choir president Richard Casey, out.